Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the higher chapter. I'm on my Stamina Necromancer this time with a classic 2-age sword and board setup. On the front bar, probably the strongest PvP set at the moment with Savage Werewolf. It has no cooldown and it's a ton of bleed damage. The way to go for every class in PvP at the moment. Back bar, you know it, Rally and Cry with a ton of crit resistance and weapon spare damage, also the way to go on almost every class, one of the strongest back bar sets. Combined with Malakad as Mythic and Magma Incarnate as Monster Set as Filler, still 120. I'm on 3 heavy pieces, 1 light armor and 3 medium armor pieces, 3 well fitted, 3 sturdy and 1 impen, full prismatic glyphs for extra max HP and max magicka, full infused on the jewelry with full weapon damage, front bar a great sword, more would be probably better but after 7 or 8 hours I didn't get it, in sharpened with the berserker glyph, back bar sword and board, none sturdy with the escapist poisons. Pretty basic setup, nothing special to be honest. I also did some tests with Duelt, but I personally still prefer the DC Swing gameplay. Skills, front bar executioner or 2H execute. Blast bone, still the stamina more for major defy, 16% healing debuff. Super powerful, even after the nerf, I think two years ago when they changed major defy from 30 to 16%. Then Dizzy is spammable, Mortal Coil, it restores now 170 Magicka and Stamina every 2 seconds, pretty cool. Then Rally still as burst heal, Dawnbreak of Smiting as aggressive ultimate. Back bar, Pulse Armor for minor major breach, alternative go with Countrips. Then Race Against Time as snare removable, Resolving Vigor. Summons Armor, Spirit Guardian for 10% damage mitigation and a ton of healing. And Sparrow as defensive ultimate. For a cool play, go with the Colossus on the front bar or back bar for major vulnerability. Race, I'm done more still for extra weapon spell damage, max magicka and stamina. Better would be probably Imperial or not, but since this is also my PvE char, I stay with Dunmar. Mundus the Serpent for extra sustain, Atium Takeable Broth as buff food, 20 points in health and the rest in stamina. Potions, I use two different ones, mainly the resistance potions with over 5k physical resistance, really brutal potions or just the normal tricep potions, depends on the situation. Blue CPs, Master Arms, Biting Aura, Dewis Rebuff and Ironclad, Red Ones, Sustain by Suffering, Pains Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Quick talk about the combination, it's similar to a Stamina Warden, pre-buff yourself with a Rally, and apply Pulse Armor for Minor Major Breach, then start with Blast Bones, into Dizzy, into DB, into Executioner. You can build up a fully charged heavy tank before you use Stormbreaker to empower it by 10% if you want. It looks like this. Fully charged heavy tank into Stormbreaker. Here we go again with some gameplay footage. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day and I see you hopefully in the next video. Peace!